Man, where does this birthday rank for you? The best birthday in my 22 years of life, for sure. <laughs> Next question, Drew DeArmond. Yeah, this is for uh, JQ. Uh, I know this has been your first game in nearly two years. Uh, how would you rate your performance? And you really seem to be in a pretty good rhythm uh, from the start of the game. Um. I feel like I played well. Uh, I feel like as a team, we all could have played a lot better. Um, you know, just we've been in the gym since June, so, you know, scrimmaging against each other and stuff like that. But it was good to get the jitters out and, you know, every, you know our freshmen uh, get obviously get the jitters out and, you know, just keep building on this win, get, get back tomorrow, watch some film, go over some film with, with the coaching staff, and, you know, just, just get better as a team. Next, Tony Sukalis. Shaq, first double-double of your uh, your career. First of all, how does that feel? And then how much extra emphasis have you put on defense this year? Uh, the double-double feels good, man. You know, I just try and go out every every game and find a way to help my team win. And tonight getting those rebounds was big for me. You know, I put emphasis on being a better defender this year because, you know, that's the next, that's the next step I have to take to take my game to the next level. So, you know, Locking in on the defensive end, doing the little small things, like watching certain things on film, you know, it, it takes a lot, but it's something I want to get better at each and every game. And us as a team, that's something we're being very, uh, you know, focused on this year. Mike Rodak. Yeah, for Jaden, I, I think you had 15 points in the second half, just three in the first half. What was the message at halftime, and, and how did it resonate for you? Um, you know, it wasn't really nothing special. You know, I just... My shot's not falling. I got to find a way, find a different way to help our team win. And, you know, doing blue collar things, rebounding the ball, hitting wide open guys, you know, that helps my game get into the rhythm. So, you know, rebounding the ball and getting out in transition is big for us. So, you know, you know, the game just comes to you sometimes. So, and that's, that's what happened in the second half of this game. Let's go to Drew Darman. Yeah, this is uh, for Shaq. Uh, did you in the off season? Was there a concerted effort to work on your game off the dribble and getting to the rim because you were able to get to the free throw line? And of course, you're a great three point shooter. But talk about maybe the, the changes you were in the, to expand your offensive game. Yeah, for sure. Um, <clears throat> you know, I shot the ball well last year. I shot a lot of threes. You know, to take my game to the next level. Like I said before, I got to work on getting to the rim with dribbles and you know, getting a concerted effort to get to the rim. So. I've worked on that a lot, you know, me and JQ, we're in the gym a lot. We work on shit, stuff like that um, with with our workout partners and stuff. So that was big for us. And, you know, just adding that to my game was big. And, you know, getting to the free throw line helps our offense. Next question, Charlie Potter. For Javon, just how good did it feel to actually get back on the court and play in the game time? Well, it was an unbelievable feeling. I had my family here. I had my little brother in the stands. Um, for them to finally see me play. You know, it was just amazing. I can't, I can't really, um, you know, words can't really explain, but, you know, unbelievable feeling. Any other questions for either of the players? All right. Thank you, guys. That concludes our media availability tonight. Thank you.